Okay, so I am going to break with my tradition a little bit and I'm going to do a video that's going to be quite a bit of speed through. Um, and I'm not going to be working on here. I'm going to take you downstairs and work on the kitchen surface because I need a lot of room. I was inspired by Nikki Pearl, a class and cats um, the YouTuber. Uh, she took a huge, she, well, she does it quite a lot actually. She takes a large piece of uh, junk mail and then she just goes to town on it and creates all sorts of things. Um, she usually does them as live videos, so they're quite long, so I don't watch them very often just because I don't have the time but I'm going to do my take on it and we're going to start by gluing down all sorts of scraps and things and like I say I need the room so I'll do it downstairs uh, so let me go and set you up bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Yesterday you saw me pop all these bits of paper on top of my junk 
mail and there are bits that are sticking up and that's fine because today we're going to go over it with napkins these are the bits that you wouldn't normally use and some scraps um, the aim yesterday, you can still see some of the junk mail through the back the aim was not to cover it all but just to get some interest down and I didn't want to leave too many big gaps because the junk mail could feel was getting a bit soft I didn't want it to tear so just added a little bit of strength in some places and that this is going to knock it back a little bit <clears throat> and get make sure that any bits that are sticking up um yeah they're just gonna just kind of smooth over it and create a surface to put some paint on so i'm gonna go do that take it downstairs take it up again and again we'll do a speed through <laughs>
finally happy with it. It's been sprayed, coloured, stamped, stenciled. There's all sorts of bits of scraps on the started line and some scrap paper, so some junk. Junk mail. So I'm definitely going to be using these as backgrounds and I'll cut it into whatever size I need. And it's just a fun way to use some scraps and junk mail and it's quite a sturdy piece of paper now. Um, you could probably, if you wanted to, you could put more layers of tissue on there to <coughs> knock back some of the colours, like maybe some of the darker areas. But I quite like it the way it is. So. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope it gave you some good ideas. Uh, I will see you again soon. Bye.